it's Stephanie from Geeky Planning and welcome to another plan with me. So for this week we are planning for the week of February 10th through February 16th using this super cute kit from Scribble Prints Co. I want to say it was called XOXO but it, that could be really wrong um, but I did get the mini kit from Scribble Prints Co. with the family add-on boxes in the family 2 option and I got the or I got, I am subscribed to the Rose Colored Days Overlay subscription. It's not a mystery, it's just a subscription, um, but it's super cute, and I 10 out of 10 would recommend, and for the month, I believe it was the month of January, or the, yeah, the month of January subscription was for February, um, and it was, like, very hearts themed, um, and it was silver and pink and purple foil, so silver was, like, the main foil, and then pink and purple were the fun overlay type foil, so I'm sticking to the pink foil overlay boxes, and really anything silver foil um, for this spread. So right now I'm just putting down the washi um, and I'm using the hearts, like confetti hearts almost, overlay from Rose Colored Days. And I do really love that her overlays are perforated just because, um, you know, it makes it super easy to use. I don't need to use my exacto knife, I don't need to pull out any scissors, any of that stuff. Um, so it's super fun. And I should probably pause really quickly and preface this video if it sounds like I have too much saliva in my voice, like my voice sounds really funny. If you're not into the sailor language, go ahead and swipe out, mute me, all that fun stuff. You don't need to watch this, don't need to waste your time, don't need to waste my time. Technically my time is already wasted because I'm already uploading this and doing the voiceover, um, but whatever. But if you do not mind the awkwardness that is my plan with me's and my voiceovers, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment. There will be a question sometime later during this video, but right now we're just gonna skip to that point. If you guys have any ideas for questions for future videos, go ahead and let me know down below. Um, but right now, I am just doing the base of the spread. And for the, I want to call it the quote box. It's no longer a quote box. I mean, I guess it technically still is a quote box, but it's no longer like the thankful thought area that had the words thankful thought. But for that box, I did just use the full box that had the wings and the arrows. And then one of the love overlays from, again, the Rose Clear Day subscription. And I'm using all of the glitter headers that came with the or that didn't come with the kit. I bought them because they were one of the add-on options. Um, that's typically the only add-on option that I get from Scribble Prints Co. when I do buy her kits. But when you're subscribed to her mystery subscription, you do get them in any of them, regardless of, it's, of if it's the ultimate or the mini um, mystery kit. Also, if there's random chunks that are missing in the middle of me saying things, please don't excuse that. There's a lot of ums and buts and anyways. When I go to cut those out, they're, the voiceover is usually like 10 minutes shorter than what it originally is for a 24 minute video. Um, but I'm going to try my hardest to do all of this in one take. It's going to be a lot of heavy breathing. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of me laughing at myself when no one needs to, you know, hear me laughing at myself. Or hear my comments, me commentating on me trying to do this voiceover. Um, but really quickly, one of my favorite, and I mean absolute favorite things about the Rose Color Day subscription is that her overlays are removable. So you saw for both of the fan boxes, um, I started putting the overlay pretty crooked. And that's one of my, the worst, or not one of my, one of the worst things about having a bordered overlay is that if it's not perfectly online, with the full box that you're trying to use, you can tell. And I mean, you can tell. So what I love about her overlays is that because they are on a roll and because she does use a removable tape on them, you can lift them up, put it back, and it doesn't pick up any of the ink on a full box. And I cannot tell you guys how much I love that. And I mean, I love it. And I think anyone that is doing any sort of overlay tape needs to get on that train ASAP as possible. Like really they need to get on that train and so for wednesday when i used the full box of leaving my valentine i was stressing i had so much like i don't know if i could do this because if i were to try to lift that up off the full box that it was already on it would have been hot mess express even more than what this voiceover is like it would have been bad but thank goodness i didn't have to do that because there wasn't any perpendicular or like horizontal type lines that you would be able to tell if it wasn't specifically parallel with that side of the box that it was on um but yeah so that's me struggle busting through the headers and the full boxes hopefully when i upload this it doesn't look the way that it does right now because it looked like you're trying or like your browser is buffering and it starts getting very like choppy sort of things 
Um, so hopefully it doesn't look like that when I'm actually uploading this. Um, but this is me doing the sidebar. I don't even think I talked at all about the sidebar. Um, but I used the two habit trackers that came with the kit and one of the mini heart checklists. I saw Jessica of J. Crew Plans do this a while ago where she does like one of the habit trackers has a heart checklist so you can track multiple things. So I'm doing that for one of them. And then I'm using a squared off quarter box um, to just mark something fun that happened over the week. I don't know what I'm going to mark yet because when I'm planning this, it's on like Saturday of the week before. So I usually wait until I find a day that's like, oh, I can make this in there and make it super cute and all that. And then I'm using a currently reading sticker to mark that I was reading room for this week. I'm still not finished with it. My goal is to read like 20 books in 2020 because I don't read at all. And I'm trying to read for like 45 ish minutes an hour a day. We'll see how that goes. So far, not so great because I haven't been keeping up with it at all, but I at least finished a book. So, you know, that's cool. And you'll see later on in this week that I finished that book. Um, and then still on my sidebar, I used a to-do header and two checklists. And those checklists were from the Remember Me kit from Scribble Prince Co. So they do have like the background of the flowers or whatever. Um, and then this is one of these sticker books that I love. It's, um, I can't tell what it is. Let me just pull it out really quickly. It's not the colorful boxes one. Ah, it's the Planner Basics for the Mini Happy Planner. And I love it because it comes with these stickers that have all of the holidays on them. So I don't need to buy 400 different foiled stickers from 400 different shops and have a thousand sheets that I'm never going to use any of the stickers out of. I have these one sticker sheet that has all of them in black. So it'll match any spread, especially this one since black is one of the main colors. But it'll match any spread regardless because I use black ink in my planner. So it doesn't really make a difference. Um, but I just used a Valentine's Day sticker from there. And that was me trying to put the weekend banner that came with the kit back into the actual kit pages because I forgot that I had used a foiled one and we would much prefer to use a foiled one than a regular weekend banner. Um, but yeah, that's basically all that's happening. Me putting down my checklists to wash my hair. For those, I mean, none of you guys know because I don't put this out there on the internet, but I do wash my hair like once every five-ish days. I try to keep it like as on par with every five days as I can. Um, sometimes it does go to four, sometimes it does go to six, but on average I would say we're pretty good at doing the once every five days just because my hair is bleached and it's not super good to dry your hair out more when it's bleached and it's already like pretty damaged um but that's the besides the point no one needed to know that but I'm still gonna put that out there just because again I did want to do this all in one take because currently it is Monday the 17th and this plan with me is supposed to go up Thursday the 20th and I kind of just want to get this done and over with so I can delete the footage and not have to buy another SD card to start filming for the current week that we're currently on Obviously, the current week that we're currently on in, like, in real life time, not in planner time, because in planner time, we're still on Valentine's Day week. Anyway, um, I was debating between using the deco that actually came with the kit over the date covers or just um, the clear deco that came with the Rose Color Day subscription. And I ended up going with the subscription one just because I felt like if I had used the deco that actually came with the kit, it would have been, like, really, really busy up there. And I'm not really the biggest fan of that. I'm I am trying to do a more white space approach to planning but obviously I failed that during you know this plan with me because I did use full boxes basically every single day of the week and I kind of miss that I miss using all of the full boxes but I also like my spreads to look really clean so I'm probably gonna toggle um between how I plan my spreads for the like from basically from now until forever because I've been planning for like six years and I still don't have like a specific style like how some people do like some white space every single week some people do no white space some people do white space like to each their own if you have your own style like props to you but I'm still very much so struggling to find that planner piece I do have planner piece in the Erin Condren format but actually not so much that's the story for another day I still don't like the format um but I like the width of it and I like that I can have three spots in it like full box spots um but I still don't have a specific planning style. Anyway, so that was me putting down the base of this bread. I'm pretty much done with that. I just showed Potterless Podcast. Um, that's what I was listening to on, I believe it was Tuesday morning when I filled in all of Monday. And then basically just what I did Tuesday morning, what I was doing. I could be wrong. Maybe it wasn't. Um, but I do like to listen to a podcast every time that I am filming this just because there's a lot of podcasts that I'm subscribed to on Spotify right now. And if I didn't listen to them when I was planning, there probably isn't any other time that I could listen to them. Obviously, besides like driving and stuff. Um, but again, that's besides the point. So I did use a coffee cup from Moonlight Paper Co. I forgot what it was for a little bit. Um, but I believe Claudia's shop is closed at the moment. I don't 
believe if she has any, or I don't know if she has any plans of reopening, but I would check her out on Instagram to see if she is going to reopen anytime soon. And then the bow paper clip and the dollar sign icon and the asterisk little thing all came with the mini kit. Um, the foiled grocery shopping icon is from a Scribble Prince Co. Wiggle. The little teddy bear was part of the deco from the kit and then the camera is from Samantha May Sticks. So something that is an ongoing theme basically in any spread that I ever do, um, mostly from Scribble Prince Co. because she is the shop that has like the most, I don't want to say decently sized deco, but it's not too big, not too small. Um, and so usually I use those pretty medium pieces throughout the spread just to mark basically whatever I can. Almost like how the SPC team uses the Once More With Love um, like themed munchkins, like the Toy Story, Haunted Mansion, all that in their you know, relatively themed spreads. I just use the deco in place on that because I'm not gonna, like, I'm pretty sure Marg does not have munchkins to match this deco, maybe, or this deco, this clip art. Maybe she does, maybe she doesn't. Not 100% sure. Um, but yeah, so basically I just use that to kind of sprinkle it on, especially since I don't use it at the top bar where the date covers are. It's kind of just easiest to sprinkle it throughout. Um, and then that laptop that you guys saw me use on Tuesday morning is from Planner S. And sorry, I'm just flipping through my planner to actually see what I'm using. And then the pancakes foiled sheet or foiled icon is also from Planner S. The heart icon and the cupcake are from the kit. And the coffee cup is from the Stickery Co. I believe that is literally the first sheet that I bought from them. They're a relatively new shop. Um, I want to say they opened last year or 2018. But that was like the first sheet that they came out with. Then I saw it on Instagram and I was like, you know what? I need it. I bought two. I still haven't gone through both of them. But just because they do come with so many coffee cups and so many different varieties of coffee cups in there. I think it's three different varieties per sheet. Um, but I 10 out of 10 would recommend those. And really basically any coffee kit from a shop. Because I blow through coffee stickers like no other. Um, just because I do like to use one for the most part every single day. At least five days a week. And I do try to use different ones each day. Um, so it's like the first thing I buy from basically any shop is coffee cups. Um, but I 10 out of 10 recommend this is unrelated, kind of, but not really. For Tuesday morning, that pancake sticker, I love, and I will say this from now until the end of forever, whenever Ashley decides not to have these in her shop anymore. But I love the planner-esque, um, the foiled food icons. They're super cute. She has pancakes. She has salads. She has burgers, she has pretty much anything that you would need to cover, like, you know, the basics of food, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, all that fun stuff. So 10 out of 10 would recommend doing that. And 10 out of 10 also recommend picking up the planner-esque laundry things. They're almost like Andrea from Scribble Prints Co. Her, like, film edit upload stickers, but for laundry, which is something that most people do. And I love, and I mean love, using the planner-esque labels with the Designing San Diego laundry scripts just because they look so cute together and I'm just gonna plug myself right here. I am a PR girl for Designing San Diego so I use Stephanie 15 for 15% 15 off her shop and get those laundry stickers in silver gold and rose gold to complete your life and to complete all of that. Um, but right there I'm just replacing the heart icon with a little munchkin face from Scribble Prints Co. It came as the freebie in the kit just because this kit did, did come with a munchkin freebie to mark a dance party. And so that is my question for the week. What is your favorite song to have a dance party to? Just because I feel like pretty much everybody needs to have. So if you watch Grey's Anatomy, you know that Meredith and Christina, there's been a couple of the, a couple of scenes where like they're just super stressed out and then they just kind of have a dance party give a little comic relief to their day, to their situations, to their lives. So I personally am a firm believer that everybody needs a dance party every once in a while, maybe not every single day, but like two or three times a week. So my question to you guys is, what is your favorite song to dance party to? Um, I think pretty much anything Beyonce or Cardi B is super fun to just like, bleh, you know, get all those nasty stressful feelings out of there um but to each their own obviously not everybody is into every artist so let me know what your favorite artists are what your favorite songs specifically to dance party to are down below in the comments and we'll just start a little dance party 
everything situation stress reliever and maybe you'll think of some songs that like oh I would have never thought to dance party to Hollaback by Gwen Stefani but you know what we're gonna do it anyways because we want to feel better and we want to I was gonna say empower each other I guess it's not necessarily empowering each other but support each other that's the best thing to do is to support each other anyways that was a whole different conversation that really didn't need to happen but we're gonna keep it in there again just because I want to do it in one take and so far so good I think this is the longest that I've ever voiced over for we're at about like 15 minutes now and usually I quit after like five so it's a bunch of different five minute long clips but that's besides the point um so the coffee cup on the top of Wednesday is from purple bunny prints and then the film clapper icon and the tv icon and the grocery shopping icon are all the mini icons that came with the kit and then the wreath to write that I finished SSDGM stay sexy don't get murdered by Georgia Hardstark and Karen Kilgariff, the amazing women that run My Favorite Murder. Um, that's the first book that I finished in 2020, and I'm so happy about it. And I 10 out of 10 would recommend it to anybody, regardless of if you listen to um, My Favorite Murder or not. It is a really good book, and it's just a very, like, eye-opening type, wow, this is life kind of thing. If you're not into that, obviously don't read it like read something else read harry potter because everybody loves harry potter um but again besides the point and then on wednesday i'm just gonna jump back and forth between tangents and non-tangents so non-tangent on wednesday on the little deco piece i thought it looked pretty plain i was like well you know what a wreath wouldn't just hang in the middle of nowhere it needs something to hold it up so i cut off um one of the bows from the planner-esque bow headers and i just kind of laid them on the top of it and i think it looks really cute super subtle did i need to do it no does it look cute yeah but also you can't really tell but i did it anyways because i thought it would be really fun um and then for thursday I had a work label and then a patterned fancy label and then I just used a camera from Samantha May Sticks. I'm sure what the shop was Samantha May Sticks. I use basically her cameras throughout this whole spread um, to mark filming so that was me. That was when I put the base down for next week's plan with me so the 17th through the 17th through the 23rd and again it is currently the 17th so that week isn't even over yet but I did use a kit from Creativity and Ink for that week. But that's, you know, a story for next Thursday. Um, and then I used a black, I think this is technically a smoothie cup, but I used it as a coffee cup um, from Sarah Louise Papery. And then another pancake foiled icon from Planner Esque, a food and a heart icon from Scribble Prince Co., a little piece of deco, and another laptop from Planner Esque. And I think this came out so cute. This red overall just came out super cute. Um, but again, besides the point, no one needed to know that. Um, but just really quickly, like, tangent off to the side right now. Not right now, but earlier I did mark on a little thing that I did upload my plan with me on Thursday. So that's my plan for right now, is to just upload my plan with me on Thursdays, basically every single week. I don't know, this is my second plan with me overall, and so far so fun. Um, so yeah, if you guys like these, if you think Thursday's a chill day, I'll upload them on Thursdays. If you guys don't like Thursdays. I'm probably still gonna upload them on Thursdays, so I don't I don't really know why I gave you guys an option as to not liking it on Thursdays. Um, but yeah, that was basically all Thursday. So now on to Friday at the top I did use a work label that came with the kit and then one of the Scribble Prints Co. from her spring multicolor line, just a little heart checklist to mark washing my hair because again I wash my hair every five days. If you need to know that, no, am I gonna put it in here? Yes. And then I used a coffee cup from Planner Ask and a Starbucks run script from Station Stickers. And a shaved ankles munchkin, or not munchkin, but a shaving legs munchkin from Once More With Love to mark that I shaved my ankles just because I'm pretty sure every other lazy girl out there has done this at least once. But I was wearing jeans and I cuffed them to be basically showing my ankles. So I only shaved up to my ankles because I wasn't going to shave anything else because no one in the world was going to see it. And even if they did, I didn't do a good job because anytime I would cross my legs, you would see all of the unshaven hair. So that was super great. And then I used a munchkin head from the freebie to mark that there were, I couldn't put gas because that's the story that really no one needs to know. Um, and then I used a deco piece to mark all the chocolate because it was Valentine's Day and we love a good dollar store heart-shaped box chocolate. And then I used a fancy label, one of the black ones from the kit, to mark that I planned all of my March kits. I got bored this day so I was like, you know what, I might as well just plan all four of the kits that I'm going to use in March because it's going to take like 10 minutes, it'll kill some time, it'll be super fun. Um, and then I used a Scribble Prince Co. foiled icon from her one of her wiggles on the 
glossy white paper to mark that I unpainted my nails. I put a clear coat of just like glitter from pure ice on it. I don't know how I feel about it because it already like literally completely peeled off from two of my nails. But whatever, we're just gonna roll with it. And you see it right there, it's kind of glary. I don't know, well, we're just gonna roll with it for a little bit. And then on Saturday, I used a half box and a piece of deco just to mark a run. I used, um, I almost said a Denny's icon. <laughs> I used pancakes foiled icon in silver from Planner S to mark it on Denny's to get pancakes because 10 out of 10 recommend chocolate chip pancakes basically from anywhere but you know what yeah just from anywhere it doesn't have to be from Denny's but chocolate chip pancakes are where it's at and then I used a laptop from Planner S to mark editing and I just realized on Sunday I accidentally the icons I'm gonna fix those right now um but I already took the pictures of the spread and I'm obvious I obviously already filmed it we're gonna get to that in a little bit and then on Saturday I used a munchkin from the freebie I'm pretty sure this is a crying laughing munchkin head but I just used it as a crying munchkin head to mark that I broke my nail and I want to say on Friday I showed that I kind of just like jabbed my nail into the wall and it fell off thankfully none of like the actual skin parts of my nail fell it was just my nail tip that fell off um but you know that was fun and exciting so then I filed all of my nails down um I didn't file them down a lot just like halfway so they're still relatively long and then went through Willy for the first time as an adult so that was fun and I used a fries type mini icon um, to mark that out to Paul's Jr. And then I just used Deco from the kit to mark little family in it. So that was super fun. I'm sorry if you can hear my laptop breathing because apparently it's overheating. And again, I'm trying to do this in one take. We're just going to challenge ourselves from now until, I say ourselves, we're going to challenge me from now until the rest of eternity um, to see if I can do these in one take. Because again, so far, so fun. We made it 21 minutes. This is the longest we've gone. And I'm surprised my voice hasn't given out yet, but <laughs> sorry for a different day. Um, and then right now I'm just pulling out all of the stickers that I used for Sunday. Um, so this is the little tangent that I had a little while earlier. I meant to use the laptop for editing and the camera for filming, but when I start writing these down, I wrote film with the laptop and edit with the camera. I changed them in real life, but since I already took the pictures for the spread, and I have obviously already filmed this spread. You're not going to see that. But I know I did it. And that's all that matters. Um, and then I used a burger foiled icon from Planner Esque to mark the habit. Since, as you can tell from one of the habit trackers, trackers I am vegetarian for the next little bit. Um, for the next little bit. Hopefully from now until at least a year. We'll see if I can go a whole year. I don't know. Um, so I went to go try the vegetarian burger from there. It was pretty. Eh. It was whatever. Um, and then I used a face mask icon from the kit to mark that I did a face scrub just because I do try not to do a face scrub more than once a week but I do use the St. Ives apricot apricot however you pronounce it um scrub again just once a week just because it is kind of harsh but I also do want to get rid of the dead skin on my face because my face has a lot of face craters on it and again story for a different day I don't think you guys are going to see my face on you know this part of the internet maybe on Instagram but not here um and then I used a icon from the wiggle to mark that I planned out pics for Instagram basically just planned out for the next week and I haven't posted anything yet so I'll probably post something today um, and then I used deco to mark a YouTube binge uh, munchkin head to mark sibling time and then an ice cream cone to mark foster series so that is the end of my spread right now I'm just showing you guys basically everything that's left in the kit there's a lot left like I said I do try to go more on the white space side so I use mostly icons and not so much like the labels and stuff that come with the kit but yeah, that is all of my spread. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. I'm really sorry that I said that in such a weird voice. I am feeling super loopy bananas. But thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to sparkle. Bye!